Okay, so that's not very easy. But now we have one conclusion: for your matrix A, all the rows are independent. All the constraints are independent. Now we are able to define basic solutions. Given a system A x equals B, now we know there are more columns than rows. So we're going to select some columns to form a basic solution in the following way: a basic solution to a standard form linear program is a solution that has n minus m variables being equal to zero, and it satisfies a x equals b. So what's that? Well, it's a solution such that we first select. n minus m variables and set them to zero, and then we try to solve the remaining m by m problem. Okay, so the n minus m variables are set to be zero. We call them non-basic variables. The remaining m variables are called basic variables. We sometimes also say the set of basic variables form a basis for your linear program. And then your m columns would form or must form a non-singular invertible m by m matrix A B. Okay, so graphically it's like this. Let's say here I have two constraints and uh, seven cos uh, columns. Okay, so if that's the case, I need to first eliminate five constraints. For example, here. So I only have two. I、uh, I mean a million and five variables. So I only have two variables remains, and because this is a two constraint problem, then I have a two by two problem, and then I would be able to find a solution, as long as your remaining basic variables form a basic matrix A B. Okay, this is our A B. As long as it is non-singular or invertible, then we are able to find a solution for this system. Okay, so this idea actually, in some sense, is very simple. What does that mean? That means suppose you really have an m by n matrix A, then there are n choose m ways to define your m by m matrix A B. Okay. Among n columns, you choose m out of them, and once the m columns form a non-singular matrix, then that m columns gives you a basis. So sometimes your m columns does not form a basis, then it does not corresponds to a basic solution. If it is, if that a b matrix is non-singular. Then you're going to be able to solve a x equals b, because in that case it's nothing but a b x equals b, because all other guys are zero. Then in this case we would say the remaining part is x b. You only focus on those basic variables, because non-basic variables are just zero. So in that case a b equals b is nothing but a b x b equals b. And because A B is a square matrix and its、uh, inverse may be obtained, so your X B would be immediately expressed as A B inverse B. Okay.